God himself is true love. And those who are disciples of Jesus must love. They must love with the love that was demonstrated to us by Jesus Christ himself. He came and he died for our sins and he proved that he loved us. He showed humanity that there is a way to live that leads to life. And he showed humanity that you don't have to live for yourself. You don't have to continue in sin. Sadly though, most people, they say they love their friends. They love their churches. But they do not have the love of the Father in them. Jesus said, what is it if you love those who love you, but hate those who hate you? Don't even the pagans, don't even the tax collectors and Gentiles do the same. What I notice today is there are many Christians who will love their own. They are no different from the rest of the world. They love people who go to their church and who think exactly like them. But they don't have the love of Jesus Christ in them. They have rejected the first commandment and tried to keep the second. The first being to love the Lord our God with all our heart, soul, and might. They have rejected that. But they have tried to keep the second part of that, which is love thy neighbor. They think that because they love their friends and hate their enemies, that they are keeping the law. And they think that they are good with God because they go to church. They are hypocrites and they have rejected the true living God. Their God is Satan. And it is a satanic thing that they are doing because... They have hate in their hearts for those who truly follow God. They mock them and they persecute them. Those who truly have the love of the Father in them, they love the Lord their God with all their heart, soul, and might, and they love their neighbor unconditionally. Do you truly love the Lord your God, and do you love your neighbor as yourself?